Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial you will learn how to fix iPhone is disabled connect to iTunes error. Most of the time when you get this error it means that you've input your passcode wrong more than 10 times. This forces the iPhone to put itself in the disabled mode to prevent it from being brute force hacked. For anything under 9 attempts we suggest you wait for the time which can be up to 60 minutes. If your iPhone however is asking to be connected to iTunes here is what to do. Do keep in mind that this will result in a complete data wipe of the phone. This is where having backups comes into play. To get started, what we'll need is a lightning cable and a computer. Turn off your device completely and connect the lightning cable to the iPhone and computer. While connecting the cable, hold the side button on Face ID devices. For iPhone 7, you'll need to hold the volume down button. And you'll need to hold the home button for anything earlier. This will set the phone in the recovery mode, which will show you the iTunes logo. On your Mac, go to Finder and find your iPhone on the sidebar to the left. Click on it and click Restore. Finder will have to download iOS installer, after which you'll have to click Restore one more time. Next, you will have to wait while the data on your device is erased. After that, you'll be able to set up your phone fresh or restore from a backup just like the first time of setting up your device iOS deliberately makes it harder for someone to input lots of incorrect passcodes, so after a few incorrect attempts, it starts making it harder and harder for someone to force their way in. While it seems like a big inconvenience, it's done with the best intent to avoid any cyber vulnerability. What errors have you encountered before? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.